We also had on the show Laura Baker of Cyber Wyoming and the Cyber Wyoming Alliance. Laura shared a number of the programs that her organization produces. And my favorite is the Hackers Brief, where everyday citizens report fraud to help protect the community. Let's take a look. So Laura, let's talk a little bit about uh, what you're doing with the Hackers Brief and how everyday citizens are bringing their information to you and through the organization and helping their communities. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing. So we had we set the first thing we did with the hackers brief is we set up a phishing at cyberwyoming.org email address and people can forward their emails, forward their texts. Um, they also can describe a call that they might have received. And we anonymize make it anonymous, verify it, make it anonymous, and then we put it into a, a weekly publication it's called the Hackers Brief that is picked up by uh, Wyoming newspapers statewide as well as organizational newsletters. So they use it for training and to alert their friends, family, and neighbors in their communities. What a novel idea. This is awesome. <laughs> this is taking, uh, you know, being a good citizen to the next level. I love it. And you know what I also love about the program is that, or the brief itself, is that the, the concepts that are, you know, malicious actors are perpetrating in one area sometimes, or on one individual, sometimes don't always get shared. Some people are a little too nervous to share or might be embarrassed to share. In, you know, this scenario, not only are, you know, the potential targets or potential victims sharing, but they're sharing on a scale where multiple parties um, in, in multiple places will be able to see and be helped by this. I think it's absolutely amazing. If they know about it, then they're less likely to engage with the scammer. And that's, that, that's proven by studies. Better Business Bureau has been, study, been doing studies about that, that if you have previous knowledge or prior knowledge of the scam and scam tactics, then you are much less likely to engage and thus lose money. And so that was, that, this came up this idea came through about three years ago, I would say. And now every year we take the statistics, like where the scam was reported from, what area of the state, and we publish them so that if Sheridan, Wyoming, for instance, beat out Cheyenne, Wyoming, we make sure Cheyenne and Sheridan know about who reported the most so that they can up their game and, and create a friendly you know, competition from different parts of the state. I love that. I love it. And I love how, uh, you know, you're involving uh, the citizens as well as the, the municipalities themselves in, in all of that. Laura's organization is doing so many wonderful things. And one of the things I liked most about this hacker's brief is that there was a sort of paper trail that kind of showed how these malicious actors were carrying out their programs. And the hacker's brief and the public reporting of what was happening initiated this kind of trickle-down effect where when it was reported, authorities could see what cities, what states, what counties that it was being reported in. They could map it on a map. So, Laura, kudos to you again and to Cyber Wyoming and the Cyber Wyoming Alliance for putting this hacker's brief together. I think it's absolutely amazing.